hey welcome back in this video we will talk about laravel 8 so we'll talk about all major changes i uh, will understand authentication scaffolding and we'll upgrade our application as well so let's start first off uh, we need to update our laravel installer so if you are already using a uh, laravel installer for installing new application you need to upgrade your installer so if you are not using uh, this installer you you can just directly run this command and install new project but uh, that way you have to do some extra step to scaffold the authentication layer you have to install another Jetstream separately and then uh, proceed from there so i recommend you use this uh, installer because it will cache all the files so once you install something then it will be cached and next time you install new project it will be pretty fast all right, so first step, uh, how to upgrade a Laravel installer. First off, open up your terminal. So in this terminal, the first check if you have Laravel. Then here in my case, it is 4.0.3. If you have three or two version, you need to upgrade to four. So the way you do it. So if you don't see anything here, Laravel command not found, then you need to install, you need to just run this and uh, latest version will be installed so only for those who have uh, less version how to upgrade that so first of all you need to find where the composer global file is so to find out that you need to run this command composer config list global so if you run this command you'll uh, know where your uh, global file is so this is the home where your global composer.json file is so just navigate to this location uh, this is my username in your case uh, just locate uh, locate this go to this directory and in this directory you will find composer.json so i will edit that so i will use nano text editor and then composer.json file so in this file you will see something like this just make sure you are you change this to this version exactly like this 4.0 and then you are good to go so after that just control o to save and exit so you, you can use your text editor i'm just using this to quickly edit this so in my case it is already 4.0 so i'm just exiting so once that is done just run composer global update and it will update all the global packages all right so once that is finished then you might need to close terminal and just check if your laravel version is updated to version 4 like so all right so installer is installed and now to install new application just run laravel new laravel 8 or whatever the project name is so i will do lara 8 and to install authentication layer uh, previously you might need to do like this and it will just scaffold all authentication files for you but this option no longer exists in laravel 8 uh, for that you need to just do like this jet all right so you can find out more about this uh, by doing help so jet will install laravel a uh, jet stream scaffold and you can get other options like you can choose stacks teams and we don't need to worry about all these steps uh, just clear this out and run our command so laravel new project name and then dash dash chat and it will ask you to which stack do you prefer so uh, i prefer this Lara live wire uh, i haven't uh, tried out this inertia but i will uh, i will be making this tutorial i'm planning to make a tutorial on inertia first i have to try this out so i'm comfortable with livewire so we'll go with livewire so going with this option is uh, preferable if you are uh, using if you didn't didn't use view too much and you just want all the scaffolding then you can go with this livewire just select zero and will you application so will your application use teams so you can do yes no uh, teams is generally like grouping up uh, like in slack you make team similarly you can make your team 
so we'll explore this feature later on uh, right now i'll uh, do no and it will install our application so from this step onward it will install normally so i have already installed so i will not wait for it to finish and let's open up a new project in vs code so i have installed with name laravel 8 yeah so i was trying something out so yeah okay let's uh, start from scratch so i've opened up a newly installed laravel 8 application on vs code so first uh, thing just go to composer.json and verify all of your changes so let's see what uh, is new on laravel 8 so we got new framework so jetstream is a new a way of scaffolding so previously you might see laravel ui so it is replaced by jetstream in this version also you'll see sanctum installed by default also you'll see new this live wire yeah that's it so next let's explore what's inside package.json so in package.json we see tailwind css and tailwind, tailwind ui so it is like a predefined component tailwind tailwind component just search for tailwind ui and you will get uh, some components that you can use like on bootstrap uh, but there are only some free versions free component uh, for getting all component i think there is paid version but there are uh, other predefined ui component for tailwind available for free you can search for them and all other things look uh, as it is like same in laravel 7 and 6 so we only get this tailwind new okay so so depending on what stack you choose uh, this might uh, be different so if you choose inertia there will be inertia installed okay okay so now let's open up this on browser open up terminal and let's run php artisan serve so php artisan serve so first new thing that you see on laravel 8 is this php artisan server so i'll open this server let's open this up and let's change something on dot env file suppose let's say i have changed this uh, mail driver from this to log and as i save this file you can see here so it is restarting the server so in previous version what you need to do is you if you change something on dot env file you need to just close it and then manually restart it and then it will reflect the change that you made on dot env file but in this version this uh, php artisan uh, serve is also uh, upgraded it will restart automatically so that's uh, really cool if you are using artisan serve command okay let's moving on open up this thing on here okay so if you see login so you can see new page with tailwind uh, design and all other pages are just modified with tailwind css okay so let's register and login so i will already register i'm using uh, uh laragon so i have this virtual host automatically set up for me so i will not use this uh, art sensor so i've already registered and logged in let's go to dashboard and you'll see this new dashboard on laravel 8. so this dashboard uh, consists of this page and one cool feature on this dashboard is if you go to your profile and you'll see a lot of options first one is profile let's open it open it up and here you can update your profile information all of the information that you can use you can even reset or change your password enable two-factor authentication you have information about from where you have logged in which is device you have used you can even delete your account so you have these options and each of these sections are config uh, configurable you can alter these and disable these fe these features from backend we'll see that in a moment next option is api tokens so this api tokens is uh, 
useful when you are building some kind of front-end application or mobile uh, uh, application and you want to log into this um, you want to log into your Laravel application from those front-end application you can just create new token like mobile app and you can give permission and just create new and you will have this API token so it will be displayed only one so you you have to uh, copy it and save it somewhere and then use it on front-end application and then you can see this you can alter permissions and delete it so the work of this token is just to make you log in so whenever you use this token you will be logged in as your username so currently i'm logged in as Hites, and whenever you use this token laravel will understand that it is has login or whatever your username is so we'll go in depth about this token and build some application in other videos right now i will just go on quick overview of this feature you have team settings create new team so by default you will be signed to this team uh, your username's team so team feature will also make some application later on by using this feature so right now we have uh, these profile page and api token so let's uh, explore how this authentication is working on backend so for that we need to jump to code and we need to explore the code here in previous uh, uh, previous Laravel versions, you will see something like inside your app, HTTP and controllers, you will see a auth folder and that in that auth folder, you will see all login controller, res register authentication or forward password, everything you can uh, alter from that controller. But in this uh, version, uh, you have uh, none of these. So all of these are controlled by from here actions so in actions you will see two folder fortify and jetstream so fortify is like a um, backend for your authentication so all of the authentication related stuff are uh, controlled by this fortify and jetstream is just like a front end layer uh, for that uh, backend so jetstream contains this fortify so fortify is another package uh, whenever you install jetstream it will automatically come by default so you don't have to touch anything here to alter uh, all of these features you only need to go to config and then just go for fortify so if you want to alter any of uh, the authentication related stuff just go to config fortify and here you'll see this default gar uh, route these are not so what school is this so if you suppose you want to disable registration you just comment this out and registration will be just comment this out and register, uh, registration feature will be disabled similarly you can enable or disable any feature you like from here and you can even enable this email verification this is uh, disabled by default so if you need to verify your email before you register you need to just enable this you can just uh, disable this registration and whenever you disable it and and if i log out and in home page you will only see login option so if you enable this registration you will see register as well all right so this is cool thing you can also have more control over this uh, these authentication related stuff from config jetstream.php here also you have these features like profile photos api teams you can enable or disable so here for example let's comment this profile photos and let me log in first And now if I go to profile section, I can no longer edit profile photos. All right. Let's refresh. There we go. Now we can back. So similarly, you can enable or disable some of the features. All right. So whenever you log in, first thing you land in is this dashboard.blade file. So it is protected by auth sanctum middleware and verified middleware. 
and whenever you go to dashboard you will see something like this so in previous version it is extending layout and then you use content so you can use that but in this uh, this version they use component based approach so this is the main component and we are using different slots to uh, populate or hydrate content on that base component so here uh, if you go to this uh, if you need to find this x app layout so this is simple laravel component and all component live under views component and then you can see app layout and then you can go to from here so if you are just wondering how this is working where is just making the live wire component and uh, this component is rendering this view all right so this uh, app uh, layout view is a normal view and the only different thing you'll see here is it is coming with alpine js and library styles and it is using all tailwind classes for design and you can just toggle these it is using alpine js for toggling different drop downs and similarly it is using uh, Jetstream related component which you will not find here if we uh, want to update or alter these customize this we need to publish this component we'll do in a bit and it is using all these component for navigation link and yeah it is uh, just checking if it has team feature if that is disabled then you can uh, you will not see this drop down teams drop down and similarly we are using this header slot and we are populating everything in slot that we just see on dashboard view also it is stacking or populating model here and we are using live live wire scripts and in app.css if we see on resources css it is just importing tailwind classes so from here we are installing tailwind so in app.js uh, there is nothing like if you go to bootstrap file there is nothing so we are using livewire so everything is managed from there if you want to add some other packages you can do here in bootstrap file all right so these components you can see from here and if you need to alter you can do it here so if we need to alter all these uh, jetstream related link which you can see here these navigation links this bar everything we need to publish these views right now you have no access to these components so for doing that uh, you can go under these in jetstream documentation you will see something like so all these page structures are explained here and so here we can uh, publish all those component from here and it will publish all of these components so let's go ahead and do that let's close this up okay so it published inside views vendor that stream so let's go to that resources views vendor set stream components so we have all lot of components that we can uh, customize from here we have application logo confirmation model everything that you can see here navigation link all right so this is how you customize we have even this uh, welcome just put in some dummy content and let's go and see if it is taking effect or not yeah there we go our custom content so this is how you customize your uh, default authentication in laravel 8 all right so in next video we'll upgrade our existing laravel 7 application to laravel 8 so i'll see you on another video Bye.